Hi, um, we're going to calculate some discount percentages. So we're going to use our main module and we're also, let's actually we can change our mode to intermediate. It might be a little less confusing. And then we're going to call um, two different functions which are also known by the terms uh, procedures, subroutines, modules. First we want to declare a um, constant variable and that is going to be all in capitalized letters and we also want to declare two um, variables regular price and sales price okay now we want to uh, calculate our sales price which is done within an assignment box that is going to be the sales price is going to be set to the regular price minus the discount percentage times the regular price. Well, that's enclosed in parentheses. And then we want to display, so that will be an output. There is our main module. Now what we can do is we can query the user for the <coughs> regular price. So we want to call a procedure called get regular price. That would be our call box and we can do that right here right after we initialize and declare our variables and this is a good place to point out that the scope of variables within Raptor is not the same as it is within programming languages um, Raptor is designed to as a thinking assistant to help you flowchart to help you think uh, um, how to lay out a program um, and it's not a programming language and certain things are a little bit different and the scope is different too. Scope is basically global however in real pro in programming within a, a defined language such as Java or C you have to be aware that if you're going to declare a variable within a module then it is usually the scope of that variable is usually within that module itself and not global but th like I said that's just a quirk of um, Raptor you needed to know about so here we are going to call our get regular price function now it asks us if we want to create a new tab yes we do so now we have our, a new start and end symbol for our get regular price module function subroutine procedure whatever you want to call it they all mean basically the same so what we want to do here is query the user so we're going to say int Let's run. It 
let's run this again. Now we're going to pay attention to when our variables are uploaded in memory and also our enterprise. Okay, so you notice when it went to the call box, it went over to our, our get regular price procedure and accomplished that in input query and then went back and did the uh, calculated the discount uh, price and the sales price.